Welcome to the Netbook Mojo unboxing video for the Samsung N150 and N210 netbooks. The new, these new netbooks are Samsung's flagship products and are expected to do really well for them. These are shipping with the new Pineview processors, which means that they've now got improved battery life over previous models. I'm starting off here with the N150. As you can see, it comes in the plain cardboard box, no battery connected as you'd expect. Um, Ethernet port, microphone ports on one side and a USB, a couple of USBs and the VGA on the other side. Pop it open. One thing we did like is that it didn't have an especially glossy screen, which is great so you don't have too much reflection when you're in a brightened room. So as you can see there, the profile is pretty thin. Just popping the battery in, there's a couple of little tracks that it slides into. You can see the first time there I've had a bit of trouble sliding into the track, but it slides in, clicks in very nicely so you know it's definitely connected. And then it's just a matter of switching it on and you're ready to go. So the on switch is on the front edge of the device. You'll find it's one of those little sliding switches. So you give it a push across to the right. And then after a couple of seconds, you'll start to see some action on the screen. So firstly, it lights up and you get the ready setup is preparing for first time messages on the screen. The first time startup does take a little bit of time. You need to set aside about half an hour once you get your new Samsung netbook before it's ready to be used. You go through the normal Windows 7 information setting your location, the um, locale information so that you get your dates and times and currencies set up nicely. But once you pick those out it's fairly straightforward and anyone who's installed Windows before or started with a new machine will find this extremely easy. It's actually one of the best things about new Windows 7 is that the setup process is far more streamlined and simple than previous versions. Having recently gone through the exercise of installing almost every version of Windows from Windows 3 onwards into virtual machines one of the things you really do notice is that Microsoft's taken a lot of time to get the setup process more and more refined. Um, one of the big criticisms that Windows has had in the past was compared to the Mac is that the Mac setup process is really, really easy and that really, as far as Windows 7 goes, it's now comparably easy. In fact, in some ways, it's even easier. So I've just gone through the normal process here of setting up everything else. I've skipped the network setup just on this occasion um, just so that I can get through things a bit more quickly, but I could have easily picked my local wireless network which is already listed there, popped in the password for the network and I would have been connected. So once you go through that for those initial steps, the system will restart once again and eventually you'll come to a point where you realize that Samsung's gone to a little bit of extra trouble for you. Just waiting for that to come through. And as we come in now, you'll see that Samsung have added their own utilities to this process. So the first one is that they've got a driver setup utility that'll pop in now. And that sets up the device so that as well as having all the generic Windows 7 stuff that you'd not come to expect, you've also got Samsung installing their own drivers and so forth so that the device is ready to go in maximum, with its maximum efficiency and best possible setup. The other thing that we noticed as we went along through this process, and we'll show you that a bit later on, is that there's also a partition manager to help you set aside a separate partition for your data so that if the operation, operating system gets gets wrecked by some errant application or program, then you're able to go back and at least restore your own, have all your data separate, separately installed from the rest of your operating system. Okay, so the N210 comes in similar sorts of packaging. In fact, on the outside, if the boxes weren't labeled, you really wouldn't know the difference between them at all. So as you can see, I can pop it out now of the box. It's got that normal um, hard foam packaging that we come to expect these days with all of our computers so that nothing um, untowards happens to them during transport. Mine had obviously been um, checked out by the PR agency before, I had, before it was delivered to me, so the battery was already installed when I got it out of the bag. Um, typically, like, like as you saw earlier with the 150, the battery wouldn't have already been installed. The outer casing in this one is a nice shiny black. Um, even though it's out of the same device family as the N150, the N210 has a slightly different profile. Um, in a lot of ways, it actually feels a little bit um, fatter than the N150, but the N210 is actually really the same thickness and all the other dimensions. So you can see they're just ripping off some of the extra plastic stuff that they have around the edges for protection. You see that the, there's a little bit more detailing done on the N210. Um, you know, the edges have got a nice little chrome finish. Um, to go with the black, but the power switch is similar. It's up on that front edge, and you can see there I've popped it open and switched it on. Just side by side, the two the two units, the N150 and the N210. Um, you know, 
on the face of it, the two fifty looks at the the two the two ten actually looks a little bit thicker, but it's no different really. Once you sort of line them up side by side, you'll see that they're about the same height and width and thickness and so on. Um, port configuration is similar. You know the power on the on the left hand side with the Ethernet, a USB, and the mic and and speaker outputs. Um, on the other side, a couple of USB ports and the VGA port. It's one of my pet hates at the moment is I'm wondering why we actually need Ethernet ports on our netbooks. Really, who connects their netbook via Ethernet? But I su suggested it's a very small majority minority of customers that are doing that. And really, you can get USB to Ethernet adapters if you're really, really desperate. Um, you can see there are some differences. The hinge has got a slightly different design in the profile. So here we are now going through the startup process, as I mentioned earlier. Samsung go through their own driver installation. That takes a little bit of time. Um, in fact, getting to that point only takes about five or 10 minutes. The rest of the 30 minutes or so you need for the setup is really spent going through Samsung's own process. So you can see here, you're going through the driver installation. Um, that goes through a couple of different phases and the screens change a little bit. Um, so there's the copying of the drivers, obviously from a system partition, then the installation. It says it takes a few minutes and it did actually only take a few minutes to go through that process. And then eventually, once you've gone through all of that, Windows 7 fires up and you start going through the Windows 7 setup process where it sets up media player, the desktop and so forth. That really didn't take too, too long to go through, but it is something you've just got to set aside. Don't expect to take your net, pull your netbook out of the box and be ready to go in five minutes. Um, you really do need to set aside a good 30 or 40 minutes to go through the process. So once we've gone through all of that, Internet Explorer and all the other bits and pieces get set up, Windows 7 gets started, and you'd think that you're just about there with, um, with your Samsung being ready to run. However, Samsung throw in a couple of other bits and pieces for the process. Um, first thing that they do is that they install a partition manager, and that partition manager fires up automatically once you've gone through the setup process. So you see that's about to pop up. So there's the partition manager. It's just got a little slider there at the bottom you need to pull across. The minimum partition size you can set aside for the second disk is 40 gigs. So you may need to fiddle around with that. We just quickly set it over to about 80, um, not for any other reason other than just to check that the whole setup process works. Once that happens, you go through yet another reboot. It's one of the frustrating things. I can understand why Samsung's gone through this approach, but just having to partition the drive and get started and go through that process is just something you'll need to be aware of and set a bit of time aside for. Um, again, good idea to have your data on a second partition. Personally, I think now the way um, SD cards are becoming so cheap and online storage is so easy to access, um, why, why would you bother going through partitioning a drive when you can store your data elsewhere? Having done that, the Samsung, Samsung have chosen to install their recovery system as well. So you go through a process of after having been through the initial setup, that they create a system part, a, a backup of your initial setup. That way you won't have to go through the whole process again should you have to recover your system after some sort of disaster, which one would hope just doesn't happen to you. So the recovery software goes through its process. In our case, it took about 15 minutes to work all the way through and set up the recovery partition. So you can see it's really Samsung's own processes that they install, that they invoke after the Windows setup that take most of the time here. Windows setup itself took very little time. So after all of that, it goes through the reboot. We popped in our startup password that we'd set up earlier during the setup process. And a few seconds later, the whole thing was ready to go and our new, brand new N150 was ready to use. So thanks for watching and thanks for listening. This has been Anthony Caruana, the editor of Netbook Mojo. Please visit us at www.netbookmojo.com. Thanks again.